Hi, good evening. I'm Anna Olson here on A1R Radio with my show, Insights into Consciousness. I'm here every Thursday, 6.30 Pacific Standard Time, which is also 9.30 Eastern Standard Time. I'm very excited today because I have uh, somebody that I'm going to be able to do a reading on on the air. And it's great to get a volunteer because I just love doing free readings for people if they want them. And my guest tonight is Ariel Peraza. How are you doing, Ariel? Yeah, I'm good. I'm really happy to be here. I feel honored to win, <laughs> to have been open. <laughs> well, thank you. I'm just so happy that you're here. And like a little um, backstory about us. We, we met um, at Tamed Wild, right? When we were doing like a moon party. Yeah. And um, I remember doing my first reading on you, and I think it was at the Halcyon store. And we just kind of um, did a little bit of like a, a small reading, and then ever since then we've done little readings here and there, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And yeah. so then you you when I mediumship help, right? Sure. Yeah. And um, then you know, um, it's been nice to just basically kind of follow along, you know, on your timeline and just help you out with whatever you need. And I know today that you were wanting to go over some um, career and basically financial, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So go ahead. Like just what I should be doing on a day-to-day basis, all that. Okay, great. So what you can do, maybe baby steps on a daily basis to get to whatever goal. And we want to kind of also look at the goal, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what I can do is um, start out with the question. So the question would be, uh, what would be the best path to reach the career that would be best for you? Do you want to try that one? We can start out that way. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. So, um, you know, the first thing that I'm getting for you is a card. It's a number seven, um, and it's called Nourishment. The Nourishment card is really just about filling yourself up and doing things that will nourish whatever it is that you want to go into, whatever career it is that you want to um, just really start heading towards and working towards. And I'm seeing, you know, also your your health. So are you interested in things like health or herbs or things like that or beauty? Um, Definitely. Like I love all of that, but um, I kind of knew that that was going to come up. I feel like something like my, I need to be more conscious of what I'm eating and um, just, I don't know, but yeah, I love herbs and vegetables and fruits. I just also like to eat like snacks. So I don't know. (laughs) You know, it's, has to do with that we all love snacks ariel you're fine (laughs) (laughs) well and you know the other part of it is also nourishing your heart chakra so i'm also seeing that there is some you know work to just do emotionally and that that's part of nourishing ourselves too and what's what's interesting is that you're talking about the nutrition and what you're eating and that correlates really, really closely with how we are emotionally and how we are spiritually. And, you know, it's kind of like however we're doing emotionally, spiritually is usually reflected in what we're eating. And, and, you know, they're usually pretty connected. And so um, that's interesting that came up because the better we do with our health, the better we usually do with our goals and what we're doing on a daily basis to get towards our goals. Um, But I do see that you have an understanding of the law of attraction. Mm-hmm. So have you been practicing that lately? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because I see that it's working. Oh my gosh. Amazing. And if you think about it, here we are doing a live reading on the air yeah. last yeah. minute that you sourced with the law of attraction. I was I I told you, I was just thinking yesterday, oh, I need to get a reading with Anna next week. Because I just feel like I've been really in touch with the spirit world lately and I want to know about that. I don't know. Right. And this is spirit telling you that you are doing it right, that it's working and it's just coming up in the reading. So isn't that kind of a beautiful thing, how this works? Makes me happy. Yeah. It's these wonderful synchronicities that I notice, you know, that, that just pop up. They're revelatory synchronicities. And here we are, you know, on the air, you get this free reading and we get to go over all your goals. So this is beautiful. And 
I'm excited. I'm really excited. I love this stuff. I love doing readings and seeing how these things are just timed perfectly. And this is just a reminder that your spirit guides and your angels are really working for you. I feel it. I definitely feel it. Right. I feel that too. And I, I think it's beautiful. And the only other thing that I could see that might be helpful is just, you know, with the new moon and the full moon, we kind of tend to remember to release things that aren't serving us anymore and to set new goals towards what it is that we want. So I feel like you've done some of this releasing. And of course, we all, we're always continuing to do more of the releasing, but that now's the time to really set your goals because you have been releasing the things that aren't ser serving you. Now you have more room in your electromagnetic field and your emotions and everything else to go forward and not be dragged down by some of these things that may have been wasting your time and your energy on things that aren't serving you. Yeah. So, I feel that. yeah, yeah, this is all really good. So, yeah. And, you know, I think it's also about you having more of your own time. So more of your free time to just do what you need to do by yourself. Mm. Yeah, I like, I feel that, definitely. Mm -hmm. I enjoy that. I enjoy doing stuff by myself. Well, I think, any, I know you have a little one, you know, your mom, and it's like you, you have probably a limited amount of time to yourself and for the things, you know, that you've been wanting to work towards. But of course, you know, you're, you're intelligent. I'm getting that you're intelligent and that you're also very open. Man. So that's going to work for you in a way of uh, being able to utilize your time that you have, whatever time you do have, to work towards your goals. So um, I also feel like there's some help from friends. Do you have help from friends to kind of either figure out what it is that you'd want to do or help with um, meeting your goals or just supporting you in your goals or? A lot of help from my family and friends with my child and I feel very supported by my community which That's, feels good and I think that that is is valuable right and that's what I'm getting is going to be really helpful for you moving forward um now I'm getting that there's a male presence who may be a kind of an energy set this could be you know your child's father it could be um, an ex or I mean it could be just like masculine I'm feeling like it's a male energy and that it's a little draining mm -hmm. so is that yeah sounding familiar kind of. yeah I okay. feel like always hard co-parenting with my son's father mm -hmm. I feel like I do more than he does but that's he gets insulted when I say stuff like that mm -hmm. so it's always like trying to find a balance but right. um I'm pretty clear about what I want and I kind of demand it. So I don't know. So you're, you're able to set some pretty good boundaries. Yeah. Yeah, I am. Okay. So that's a good thing. Um, you know, I would just continue with those boundaries because I think what may happen is it may start to wear you down. If you start to get into something like your job or schooling and you just might not want to deal with it, but to keep those boundaries nice and solid and just to make sure that you ask for help from all of your support group and to continue that. Because if you're going to get through, like, let's say a training program or really learn to do something where you can have a nice, solid career, um, you're going to need to invest the time in a very um, methodical way where you're consistent. And mm -hmm. now I like I don't I don't know your ex at all, and I'm not trying to throw him under the bus at all. You know, I know that our children's fathers are very valuable parts of our lives and our children's lives, but I am feeling like he w he may try to sabotage because there's a story going on in his head about how you fill in the blanks, and that's why he fill in the blank. And so he may subconsciously, not like intentionally try to sabotage, but just in like a subconscious way where, oh, but he needs to complete, you know, there needs to be like a story that supports his his narrative. Does that make sense mm -hmm. the way I explained it? I don't really get that part. I don't okay. know. It's hard to understand. 
And I know we're on ra- the radio and we're kind of public here, but I mean, you know, I'm just, I'm just seeing that there may be something that will come up. And I'm, again, I'm not trying to devalue him or throw him under the bus or anything like that, but you know, it's basically just um, about making sure that you stay really s- strong in your boundaries and to create it, what it is that you want. Now that we have that out of the way to make sure you're solidified in setting those bounds, you know, setting those career goals and everything and then reaching them and being really consistent with it. Um, you know, I just, I also think that there may be a few things that are unexpected coming up at home. So it may be that, um, there may be a change in the living situation. There may be a change in maybe what your loved ones need, you know, like let's say uh, mom, grandma, somebody who is, um, you know, maybe needing a few things extra. So that's just something to let you know about like in advance to be ready for that. Um, There may be a shift in your living situation where, where one of the women, your elders, one of your uh, matriarchs in the family may become more needy. And that's just, yeah. Okay. My great grandma's, um, she's like, she's really old and I might have to care for her in mid July. So I could see that. Okay, so we see that coming, and it's showing up in your reading. So, you know, what's really wonderful is that I'm seeing that things will start going before mid-July for you to get either training or preparing for a career. So, um, yeah, because then it's saying that grandma, that whole transition will happen. Oh, good. How's that? Yeah, I've been going to school for I have. So you've been going to school. Okay. So what is it that you're going to school for? Um, well, I think I'm going to get like just an associate's in psychology and communications. Awesome. Okay. Well, that's fantastic. For now, I don't know what my overall degree will be. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Well, great. I mean, taking those classes and getting through it is fantastic. So that's why I was getting that things will start before grandma has, you know, some extra needs that you're going, you know, where you're going to need to take care of her. So this is all falling into place beautifully, which is perfect. So we know that spirit is on track and leading me into the right place. So that's all good. Now, um, this is where we talk about you being really creative because I, I'm getting um, an action card for you now. Um, I'm just going to show our viewers real quick and maybe you can see it too, that this is an action card where she's basically working her magic and she's just like, um, starting in on this, um, I don't know what you want to call it, like a project or something. I'm trying to like get it to zoom in, but anyway, it's an action card where she's basically dancing. Her creativity is coming out. This is where your creativity needs to come out and like really figure out what it is that you would be happy doing for the long term. So I hear you saying, well, I'm doing something, you know, in psychology, I'm kind of interested in that. And what can get us really connected to what it is that we love to do and that we would just be the most happy doing and be worth spending all that time doing the training for it is when we get into our creative element. So this is also the divine feminine where us women, we get real creative. We can, you can do art, you can start really, you know, putting just something where you're like putting your hands in the dirt or your Um, You know, there's dance, there's music, all those really wonderful creative things that just speak to your heart. And this is where I'm seeing it would be really beneficial for you to really start getting aligned with your creativity so that you can really get connected to spirit and what it is that you would be most happy doing for others. So when you're the happiest doing that for others, they're going to get the most benefit because you're going to be so good at it. It'll be like, your forte it'll be like your you know your trade Mm -hmm. so i'm definitely getting to get into that creative element and um get into your gratitude of what it is that you just are so thankful for what is it that you are just elated to be part of in your life um you know i the first thing i go to is my family you know your relationships with those close to you your home, a bed to sleep in, you know, your food, everything, you know, there are a lot of people who are really struggling right now. They don't, you know, they're wondering if they're going to lose their house, their place to live. 
they're they're having trouble free feeding their children basically and um, the pandemic has done this to so many people so you know I think it's about getting into your gratitude and just feeling that beautiful gratitude of like thank you thank you thank you I you know say thank you three times every time I think of what I'm grateful for and the more gratitude we give the more that we're on the receiving frequency so I really feel like that gratitude and your creativity getting into those two elements will be very helpful for you. And I can already see like you've done your hair blue. It's gorgeous. You know, I can see you're very yeah. creative. And I can Thank see that, you. yeah. And, you know, even when I first met you, you just had on like this beautiful long gown and you, you know, had done your hair and your makeup beautifully. And I can tell that you are, you have that creative spark in you just from observing you. So that's a good quality that you have and then to just be really open to whatever you know don't say no to anything just because you're like well I don't know if I'd like that you know I think that really you'd be you'd be really good at doing something where there's not a lot of judgment to pass like because I really feel like you you're very non-judgmental mm -hmm. I'm, non I'm very non-judgmental yeah and that you would be yeah, I think that that's really, really true about you, that you'd be really open to um, working with just about anybody from any walk of life. So that could be social worker, it could be psychologist, but I really feel like your psychologist is very, it can be very sterile, and there are a lot of rules and regulations, not a lot of room for creativity or doing things your way. And I feel like because you're so creative and um, because of your personality you may need something a little more independent where you're not so controlled. I can see my like what I really want is like just like a space where I could like have all of my friends together to like just like doing readings and growing vegetables and all that but I don't really know how I'm supposed to acquire like the financial means to do something like that that's the thing that's like my dream well that that's sounds like, like a, a co-op yeah that's exactly like that's <laughs> how it would be like all like sisterhood and you know <laughs> that sounds really beautiful I mean that sounds like a beautiful dream yeah. and there's there's a lot of ways you could go about doing that um, but it's also, I think, about getting the people that you can trust in your circle. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. I know that in time, it's all going to kind of fall into place, honestly. So I'm just kind of taking, like you said, the baby steps along the way. Right. In the meantime. Yeah. And I think that either way that... Um, you know, you're just beginning those classes and getting those, basically your associates out of the way. If you need to take more classes to transfer something, great. Sometimes things come up though, and I'm, I'm getting this for you, where you would be able to get training, um, like a, um, you'll find something you love and it's going to be more creative and it's gonna align beautifully with your vision. Um, I, I, I mean, I don't want to say anything specific about what it would be. Well, spirit isn't actually telling me what it would be specifically because it's your journey to find it. And that's part of your growth process. Mm -hmm. So sometimes spirit says, no, she has to find it on her own. But I see it coming. I see that this is the doorway. What you're doing now is the doorway into it and that you're just going to grow and grow and grow. Okay. Yeah, I feel that too. I feel like spirit doesn't want to tell me either. Mm -hmm. But I'll just go, I'll just do what I'm aligned to do in the meantime, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah, that's a great I idea. Mean, I'm 24. So, I mean, I know things will happen when they're supposed to. I think you're right. And I think that it's it's almost like it'll fall into your lap. And to just keep up with the self-love that you have you know and just to cultivate that as much as you can because I do so many readings on women who have a lot of issue with self-love and just nurturing themselves from a young age they they rush into marriage they rush into things that they're not ready for um, they rush even into their career because they they know that they should do something but they don't really know what and so they rush into something that isn't going to really benefit them long term and they feel like they wasted their time. But 
Um, I think it's great that you're being patient. I think it's great you have such a social structure of support. It's very important. And I really also feel like um, you may not realize it, but it's really, I feel like you're a little deprived in like doing the things you really love, you know, maybe going out to a movie with a friend or um, staying in and just having time with a friend. It's like, it's like your time with your, 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 it's your son, right? You have a son. Like your time with, I feel really good stuff like that. It's really you interesting. You feel like I what? feel really guilty when I, I don't know. I don't want to be like a irresponsible mother. So, well, I don't know. I understand that. I understand that sort of guilt. That's a very common guilt. I think a lot of people, some, well, some people tend to say, if you go out with your friends, you're selfish and you're not, you're not spending time with your child. But in reality, what's happening there is, you know, we get so used to being around our children. We love being around them so much that it, we don't want to leave them. And, and I think that it's actually better for us to get that time of that self-care, self-nurturing, so that we can still cultivate ourselves. And then when we're coming back into you know the home with our children, we're they've missed us a little bit. We've missed them a little bit. And mm -hmm. we're happy to, to see them again, like even more so than, you know, than before we left. And then you're filling yourself up so that you can give more to your children or the people around you or school or whatever it is. It's about doing things that make you feel good. And it should be things that when you're, when you come home and you're done, you feel happier, you feel filled up, you know, and do you, do you think that um, being around your son filled up and happy is better than if you're overwhelmed or you're not getting any time to yourself and being around him? No. No, yeah, you're right. You're so, right. <laughs> yeah, it, that's just how it works. And I understand the guilt, but um, really it should be the other way around because you really, yeah, the more you nurture that self-cultivation and, and that self-love, it's going to really benefit you and your son. So he's going to have a happy mom around the more that you yeah. do that. Sure. So, yeah, so... Um, yeah, we we have just a few minutes left, but I want to, I just want to see if there's anything else you want me to, to see if I can get a hit on any other questions. Well, no, not really. Okay. Just, we covered everything. Okay. Uh, yeah. I know that what I'm supposed to do is going to come to me eventually. Yes, I think so. And, you know, I think as long as you just continue doing what you're doing, you're on the right track. Um, and I think we also went over just the right things for being on the air and being on the, you know, having a video and being on the radio and everything. Um, we didn't get too personal, but it was just enough to like give people an idea of what we go over sometimes. Um, yeah. And yeah, just stay on the same track. You're getting there. You'll get there. Uh, and I think that it's very possible for you to have your co-op environment. And I think you'd be surprised at how quickly that can come. Well, I'm all out of time. It's, I have about 90 seconds left, okay. but thank you so thank much for being on tonight. I'm glad that we could okay. do the reading. Thank you so much. This was awesome. All right. And you have a wonderful night. Um, I'm, I'm here. Um, anytime you need me, I'm also here to do readings for anyone else. My uh, website's AnnaOlsonIntuitive.com. It's at the bottom of the screen, and you can also see it on my um, Facebook page, which is Anna Olson Intuitive. So I hope everybody has a wonderful night. Please tune in next week, which is every Thursday here on A1R. Um, you can also see this streamed live on my Facebook page, um, Anna Olson Intuitive, and you can always tune in as well on um, ask one radio.com ask number one radio.com to see all about the information on readers and showtime. So please have a wonderful weekend. I will see you next Thursday. Thank you so much and have a great night. Bye.